Welcome to FS17 Heavy Rescue on the KST map. Today we will be responding to a few calls with our 2016 Chevy 3500 HD Rocker and our Kenworth T8800 Twin Steer Rotator. We just received a call that a zero turn is in the water at the local golf course. We will be making our way over here in the Chevy Wrecker. Now here on the back we do have the tow bar added on to our winch lines to give us that extra reach and that extra strength there with the connection instead of using the tow hook. Let's hop here on the inside of this and we'll be making our way over there to the golf course so the caller states they were mowing very close to the uh, pond area and the mower just slid right into the water and uh, they've called us in to winch it out and once we do that we'll be heading back over here to the shop and we'll see what happens today but I hope all of you guys are excited for today's heavy rescue video it's going to be a very busy day for sure already getting started off here with this first one and I kind of like to do multiple calls here for heavy rescue videos maybe we might do three or four coming up in some and very soon we will be switching over to winter mode for these heavy rescue uh, videos I think that winter is an awesome aspect to any type of crash and I think that we'll be doing a lot more winter ones coming very soon here it is over here we've arrived and I can already see the zero turn take a look that total loss definitely and wow so we'll take a look and I see a little area we could grab onto the frame back there. So let's kind of bring the truck close. Now the ground is uh, pretty damp and we do not want to get ourselves uh, stuck or even potentially slide down there. So we do have to be pretty careful but I'm thinking we'll back up probably right about here. Looks good. Yeah that looks good there. And we'll switch over here. We'll get the tow bar lowered down. Extended out to give us that extra uh, strength there and uh, uh, stability as well. That's always a big thing when you are doing things like this. Next up we'll get this slotted out and let's get these winches into position. I really do like this a lot. This is awesome. So we'll get this lower down and very soon we should be able to attach. And we have to go a lot more actually. So we'll just keep bringing this down and we are pretty close. And there we got it attached. We'll just get out and we'll attach the chains. Usually you would kind of do it outside of the truck, but uh, we can't really do that here in FS17. So it looks like we are ready to go there. Now let's see, can we lift it up just a little bit? Lifting it, we'll kind of lift it out of the mud and I want to lift the boom. Let's give it a try. Now the boom does lag my game quite a bit and I'm not exactly sure why. So we'll just kind of slowly winch it in and you guys can see it's, it's coming out, which is awesome. Very very easy job even though it is a bit tricky when you're dealing with uh, vehicles in the water and awesome you guys can see we got it out so next up we'll just kind of uh, lift up actually we could probably just slowly drive forward that should work I hope all of you guys are having an amazing day today. Let me know how it is down below here in the comments. My day is going good so far and I hope yours is too. Now take a look at that guys. We were able to do it. That is pretty awesome uh, that we are doing that. We'll get it disconnected there and we'll kind of just get the tow truck all uh, kind of folded back in. As you guys can see, this wrecker, even though it is small, it's actually perfect for this job. We didn't want a big wrecker. We could have probably used one, but uh, we definitely don't want to bring that on grass. But here we go, guys. Uh, the owner of this will come by with a uh, trailer to pick it up. And they don't want to pay the transportation fees for it. But next up, we'll just head back over to our uh, shop. Now, if you do have any cool ideas here for the Heavy Rescue uh, videos, please let me know down below here in the comments. I think these are a lot of fun to make. Uh, so many different types of crashes, and it's a great aspect uh, of recovery as well. And along with doing repo and, and usual uh, towing of vehicles, this is pretty cool to respond to accidents. Pretty big ones as well. I actually just received a call of a car carrier crash with a, a car and the entire highway is closed down. So we'll be making our way over there. I did dispatch out our flatbed trailer with our Kenworth W900. Let's hop here in this Kenworth T8800. We'll get our lights on and we'll be going over there as soon as we can. Now you guys can see this is one awesome awesome truck here. Big shout out goes 
out to Wood Metal Farming for releasing this truck. I just switched out the cab to this Kenworth, but uh, they do have some more tow trucks in the works, and they are awesome for releasing so much different types of mods here in FS17, which is pretty cool. Now, we actually have the chain mod here on the back of this winch, and I also do have the tow hook at the crash site just in case we do need it. I brought it with the W900. Now, the entire highway is closed down. This must be a pretty big accident, so hopefully uh, we'll be able to get it cleared as soon as possible since closure is not an option. You guys can see twin steer, very big, very heavy uh, rotator, but this will be perfect. And I could already see the police lights. Wow, uh, entire highway is closed, both lanes. We'll get around the police cars. You guys can see our uh, flatbed trailer there with our uh, Kenworth. And one of the worst crashes we've ever spawned to. Take a look at that. Car carrier trucks are hanging off the trailer. Wow. Uh, this will be a very tricky one. We're just going to pull off to the side for now. And let's take a look at this. This BMW, uh, they were told, uh, caused the truck to crash. Whoa, it's jammed into the guardrail. That will be pretty tricky. Looks like the gas tank in the axle is uh, both here. Looks like the corner of the gas tank is damaged there. So it looks like no fluid is leaking, which is very good. We will have to keep an eye on that. And this highway over here is open. But wow, the BMW uh, looks like really is pretty damaged. Now this tr truck was way up here. You guys can see the trailer is now through the bed. Over here this uh, wheel is jammed in the trailer and this one is jammed in the trailer, the guardrail, and just took a nose dive to the grass. So one pretty bad accident. One of the worst ones and highway accidents are pretty bad, especially car carriers because I mean the, the ropes, the straps can break off and the cars just go flying. So what I want to do is I want to try to lift this truck out of the way first and then we, we'll get to the BMW and we should be able to lift it up. So actually we could probably uh, position ourselves like this and we're just going to put everything to the side of the road. Once we do that then we will uh, start to do it or yeah we'll try that and we'll see what happens here probably a really bad crash and we just got to get a lane or two open so we have to try that and a very very bad crash we will have to say I haven't responded to anything like this before so it's nice to respond to things but hopefully nobody was injured and EMS did respond you guys can see the fire truck back there as well and we'll try to get attached to this now sometimes this is going to be a bit tricky to attach to it and I do have the tow hook if we do need it and from the looks of it we definitely will have to be switching and that's no problem. Yeah, so it looks like we will have to switch here to the tow hook. That will be no problem. It's an easy switch over for us. We just got to kind of back this up and over there. We'll just uh, actually... Yeah, we'll just lift the stabilizers, and I do want to give this one last try. Looks like we weren't exactly selected on that, and that sometimes happens. And we are now attached, so that is a bit interesting how that works there, but look at that, guys. Uh, we are now lifting this pickup truck right up into the air. That's going to lift it right over our truck, and it kind of got caught there. Whoa, that is a bit interesting why I did that but you guys can see sometimes we can't be as realistic as we can be in real life and that's one thing I hope to really improve in upcoming uh, heavy rescue videos trying to be as realistic as possible so we got this truck cleared off to the side of the road that is actually pretty far off the road but that should be fine for us and we'll get this disconnected and let's try to get the uh, BMW out of the way and then it will just kind of get to the truck right away if we could get that truck to the side of the road and get one road uh, lane open that would be very very helpful and we got the BMW as well that's awesome yeah just picking these up it's so cool that we can do this and I think it would be awesome to get a camera view up top on the boom that would be a very cool thing as well but if you do have any cool heavy rescue ideas please let me know down below in the comments and I hope all of you guys are having a great start to the school year it's been a very busy one here for me and I'm working on all the cool mods uh, in uh, my free time as well and I can't wait to get those released but take a look at that guys we got two vehicles cleared off to the side of the road now we will have to winch those onto our uh, tilt deck trailer back there so that will be a bit tricky now let's see if we can get the truck lifted off the guardrail because if we could do that 
uh, we should be able to just drag this right off to the side because uh, like I've touched upon, the main priority for us is getting the road open as soon as possible. We do not want the road closed and uh, that is not a good thing. Now I would have traffic on but they would pretty much be ramming into us and that's kind of why I don't have that on. Traffic would definitely add to the realism of these uh, videos. Trying to see if we can get attached here. And we'll try to lower it down just a little. So this sometimes works, but what I've noticed is it sometimes doesn't at the same time. And I think we'll try to get it from the back. That might be a little bit uh, safer and stronger area. And we got it attached. Take a look at that, guys. Lifting the truck right up and out of the guardrail. Nothing is leaking yet, which is really good sign. We do not want uh, gas going all over. That will become an environmental problem. That won't be a good thing. So we're just going to keep dragging it. And we actually took that truck with it as well. So we'll tilt this down. And just lowering right now onto the road. That is pretty awesome that we could lift vehicles here in the game. And wow, that is awesome. Uh, great actually we should be able to uh, we'll disconnect from this and uh, we'll get disconnected let's see if we could lift this pickup truck it will be a bit of a reach but we'll lift the boom full ex uh, extension we actually probably don't have to move the truck and let's see if we could get this uh, last truck we should be able to lift it right up and over and that would be very helpful or we'll, uh, give it a try And looks like we got it, guys. That is pretty awesome. We'll lift this up in there, and we're just going to bring it right up and over. And then we should be able to uh, kind of just bring this right over. So we'll get this lifted up. And, I mean, Heavy Rescue is a pretty cool thing. I really do enjoy watching all the TV shows on it as well, getting this boom. Really putting the rotator to work. This will be a pricey uh, job, I will have to say, for the uh, people and mainly it's going to be the uh, person who caused the accident will have to pay all of this and let's see can we get this vehicle dropped actually we'll try to put it in front and can it go over here and take a look at that so we'll get that drop there that is it here for the rotator so very successful and we'll just kind of drag that truck to the side of the road with our tow bar it's going to be a, a little bit easier as you guys can see, the rotator is pretty much a mobile crane, which is very handy for major crash uh, scenes like this. And we'll get the tow bar uh, lowered down. Let's see if we could grab it from the back. And we'll get it attached. Take a look at that, guys. We'll just hop out here, get the chains on it. And all we need to do is drag it to the side of the road. So you guys can see attached right there. And that is awesome. Let's hop back here in the truck. And it looks like the radio did turn on uh, back at the previous uh, call. I'm not sure exactly why. I usually have the radio turned off here for these videos. I actually want to drag this all the way up. This looks good right about here. And then uh, we can actually now get one road, uh, one lane of this road open. I mean, so let's kind of go over here. And then we'll just kind of get started off loading these onto this uh truck and trailer back here take a look at all these strobe lights i recently featured this in a review probably one of my new favorite ken wars i mean it is awesome so we'll get the engine 72 moved over we'll just move it over a lane and uh we'll let traffic get by now two highway patrol units did get here pretty uh, quickly as well and they were able to help direct uh, the traffic that was kind of in it, uh, the mixture of it but I mean they got the road closed down which is always a very uh, important thing to do on crash sites like this we'll hop back here actually no we need to hop back here in this one we need to move this to the side but one lane is open now which is a good good thing for us and uh, let's come back over here we'll get the Kenworth turned on and we'll bring this almost close to our truck now this is pretty awesome and uh, usually tow companies big ones will have a uh, trucks like this that will come out and take the ones especially uh, since I mean if we had a rollback it would be quite a lot of rollbacks I will have to say coming out here and that wouldn't be a good thing so we'll switch over here to the trailer and we'll just get it toted down traffic is squeezing by which is good 
Like I've touched upon, if you do have any cool feedback here for this series to make it as realistic as possible, please let me know. I definitely do want to increase the realism now. I really wish that we had a winch here on this trailer. That would uh, come in very handy for us and make it a little bit easier as well. We'll get both of these loaded on. This is actually a very nice BMW coupe. I kind of like a few of the coupes from BMW as well. We'll get this backed on there. That looks good. And I can't wait for FS19 coming out on November 20th. That's going to be one epic game. And I hope all of you guys are excited for new graphics, new vehicles. And I can't wait to go over all of the vehicles coming to that game uh, once uh, kind of the final list is out, which uh, probably is going to be uh, soon. And you guys can see we got everything done here, which is pretty exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed today's heavy rescue video here. We're spawning to the mower in the water and this car carrier major, major crash. But thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.